Hello and welcome back to Transport Beaver 2. We're sat looking at a station that is going to be of some interest today. It is somewhat our bottleneck for trains heading all the way up north on this eastern corridor. We have two big boys sat waiting at this station. Well, one in the station. The other is uh, parked up down the way. I was wondering if we could somehow force them to use alternative platforms for the time being as a, an emergency measure or a temporary measure. And that way, they should be able to uh, clear the platform and stop a little bit of a backlog. Goodness me, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> there was nothing polite about that. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, gather yourself, Gran. What was, what was I saying? I have no idea. That train was not expected. Well, I mean, it should have been. I knew where it was, and it was due to get here, but I had my headphones turned right up. Anyway, yes, alternative platforms should just allow us a little bit of breathing space and prevent our station here from getting filled up, and that should allow a seamless transition into our fix. I'm still chuckling about that train steaming past in my ear and we've got another one coming which one's this that is the uh the passenger train another diesel talking to diesels what have we got we got a new diesel haven't we a new diesel loco the md the md9 oh that might not be right that's what i'm guessing now do we have the space here i think we do there we go yeah the platforms should be the same length they are and and it should just pull up here he should pull in now shouldn't he i'm not convinced about that because they decide at the time they get to the signal don't they but uh, since we're not using the other platform let me make sure that is the case we're not so it's a bit of a waste of a platform uh see what we can see we can get to it from here can't we eastern corridor plastics montgomery lumber east you should be able to go on... Pl Ooh, what platform is it? Platform... Yeah, I'm not sure. Which platform is it? Three, I believe. And it's the only one it can get to. Well, it can get to one as well, but that's this. Not required. So three, as an option. We don't have to worry about them crossing over themselves. And uh, yeah, we'll see whether he chooses to go in there. Oh, he is! Oh, colour me surprised. Guys, he's going in straight away. Now, that should help with uh, when this gets full. Uh, currently, it's not. But uh, that's probably because we just picked up a whole ton of crude. Is it crude? Yes, it is crude. But uh, yeah, this is going to allow this train to load up all of these uh, plastics waiting on the platform and drop off whatever he's carrying yeah our goods and some construction materials so it allows a, a double drop off the only thing i'm concerned about is when our steel train gets here what's going to happen i'm hoping it prioritizes the one that got here first but we'll have to wait and see our steel train should be on the way up the climb is that you there no that's a diesel you can tell it's a diesel by the little icon there we go scroll out yeah they're slightly different to the steam train icon where is the steam train could we well there's a couple over here grand yeah there we go little steam trains uh little steam train oh that's that's him there we go he's already up here he's already up here let's see what happens i'm hoping you uh fill up train 11 well, we've had some good ideas but his name, Steely Dan, temporary name. Most of you seem to favour Steely Dan as his name. And so we'll probably go with that. The video's only been up a da less than a day. Like 12 hours but the time of recording this. So uh, I'll give it another episode and then we'll pick a name for him. Let's see what happens to our steel. 
Are you going to allow this train to head off first? It's looking that way, isn't it? Yes, there we go. He was first in the line and he got all the steel. Isn't that beautiful? That's a nice example of how useful alternative platforms are. I love that. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was worth waiting for. And he's already to go sort of thing now. He's just got to wait on the return journey of uh, temporary Steely Dan up there. Train 10. Oh, train 10. Train 11. That's nice, isn't it? So there we go. We've got a little bit of the issues sorted. And uh, he's not going to get in the way of anybody. These two both fit in there. If we decide to lengthen these trains, um, we could see an issue unless we went out that way. But I think we're at maximum there. If we're not at maximum, we might be able to get a couple more carriages on there. Are we at maximum? We're not, guys. It is entirely possible. We've got to be close to maximum, haven't we? Oh, look at that. Well, do you know, there's maximum. I sort of like the idea of having this maxed out. I mean, we've concertinaed. I think that's uh, Big Boy Ben, isn't it? Is that, is that Big Boy Ben? Yeah, Big Boy Ben. So, that's fine. While you're concertinaed, let's make the changes. And that's going to be a, a fairly simple change. Don't delete that station, whatever you do. I would not remember that layout. We do have to still make a change to Montgomery as well. You can see the lag here. This is because of the size of the station. The game certainly doesn't like giant stations. We can run the overrun up here now, can't we? No catenary. Yeah, we could probably get away with that. If we put two tracks here, that should keep the uh, correct, yeah, the correct curvature for those to be perfectly parallel. Look at that. Nice. We may do something else with those. I don't know. We'll just leave them there for now. We'll need a little bit more space at the side of the, the sidings there, or the runoff. Okay, so we've got a bit more length. That means these can possibly gain a, an extra carriage each. I don't mind that. Having these monstrous is kind of nice. Let's get you one at the end, and then we'll move this down. We'll put the new cabooses on there before we're done yeah we'll have you in default there we go and we'll do the same i guess we'll do the same with train 11 as well 570 meters long and what we got uh, yeah they're slow they're slow to get away let's give you both a new caboose uh, they'll be up here somewhere won't they i saw them they're right at the bottom they're new we'll give you the same well, I'll tell you what, we'll give you the Frisco caboose and then we'll give you the other one. So we can, at a glance, see which train's which based on their cabooses is. <laughs> okay, it's cabooses. Or caboose. Modify. There goes, uh... Oh, did we upgrade him? Yes, we did. I confused myself there by being awesome and uh, changing the colour of his wagons to match, but yeah. Oh, he's got the Frisco on as well. Even Boxcar Joe, that's not his name, has the, uh, has the upgraded wagons on. We did the whole lot, didn't we? Should we go? Oh, look at this. Before we do, yeah, steel is uh, through the roof now. How's your production? Well, that... That answers that, doesn't it? I don't know how close we are to this upgrade. Quite a way, aren't we? That takes a little while to get up there. So we'll miss it, I think. Unless we just sat here and fast forward. But I think it's going to be a little too slow. Yeah, look at it urging up there. Should we get our uh, diesels on? No, I'll tell you what. Before we get our diesels on, let's go check on the passenger line. Then we'll head back down. Uh, do we have popularity for this line? I would imagine we do. 118 people wanting to travel on the, uh, what are we calling this? The Athens Hillside Railroad? Yeah, I like the name of that. 
Uh, where are our trains? Are they uh, backed up? No, they're fine. Yeah, I want to go um, with a little bit of frequency. I mean, it's going to increase capacity, but before we increase the capacity of the trains, I want to increase the frequency. We do have quite a few people waiting. They're not going to go there first. Manage vehicles. We'll get you duplicated. Yeah, duplicate the lot. They should come out of uh, this depot. Oh, you can see the money going up there. That has increased the throughput there no end. Well, it's doubled it, hasn't it? Yeah, there's uh, plenty of room. Yeah, he's happy. New jobs as well. We've got the guards that will be on the train. We've got the engineers. Yeah, um, we've got the, the maintenance staff would need as well. We'll come back and check on you. It's pleasantly busy, isn't it? The uh, bus stops are empty. So we've got the throughput as far as our buses are concerned. Same down with Chesapeake. How's your charts? There we go. Up, up and away. Isn't this lovely? I mean, technically, it means you can get from Athens to anywhere to the south end of the map. And uh, eventually, Providence. <laughs> you could. You could head to Phoenix to get to Providence, even though it's just there. That won't be forever. We will have buses. How's Athens doing? Let's have a look at your charts. Yep, you, you're going through that phase. Uh, we're getting our goods delivered slowly but surely up to uh, Athens there. Do we have stuff waiting for us? No, there we go. We'll be waiting on our train. You're getting a bit full, are you? Oh, no, it's manageable. It's close to full, isn't it? On the Eastern Corridor there. Yeah, the Eastern Corridor is getting full. But we know why that was. That's because our trains were held up for a long time. <laughs> there we go. We've got a rail excursion. Rail tours for our, our train here that's uh, supposed to be heading to Phoenix. But because we changed I don't know what, he's decided to uh, take a little tour around the Athens uh, terminus up there. Athens Freight Loop. Uh, what are you? You are the... Yeah, you're the loose goods train. There you go. You're busy as well, aren't you? Absolutely. I mean, your finances are beautiful. Let's just take a look. Those red lines are not competing with those blue ones, which is uh, exactly how I like to see that. I'm not pushing it with this series either. We're not min-maxing. Uh, not even close. You are the boxcar service. Look at all the food and uh, machines you're taking now. Old caboose? Why not? Yeah, leave the old caboose on there. Don't have to upgrade them all. They uh, they have the same top speed. Here's our bridge we can't touch. Historical Society has uh, prevented us from doing this one. Uh, up to our oil processing there as well as uh, the Montgomery Viaduct. We're not allowed to touch that either. I mean, that would be expensive. I think I might touch this end, though, because that's awful. I never noticed that before. We didn't really have the money to do anything with it either, did we? Well, that could be tidied up quite a bit, couldn't it? Yeah, just bring it round there so it looks the part. There we go. That side... We can just bring it up to the the lay of the land. Beautiful. And then we just get a little bit of smoothing done up to the edge of the bridge there. Yeah. And then it looks the part, doesn't it? This side probably needs to... Not nearly as bad, surprisingly. I mean, we can get rid of that rock, that's for sure. Right, get you smoothed off. Get rid of that rock. I don't know what you're there for. And that one. Talking of rocks, we had another rock, didn't we? Uh, it was mentioned in the comments. Thank you for spotting that. Wiley Coyote. Uh, oh, where are you? Where are you? You were up here. It was on our cab ride. It was very precarious. It was really precarious. There we go. Yeah. I mean, it probably isn't. It's probably embedded and it's like seven times that size going all the way through. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Leave that alone for now. You're going to get distracted. 
We would like to upgrade our... What do we want to upgrade? We want to upgrade this situation. Uh, we do have new trucks running it, but we're not keeping up. Obviously. I mean, on purpose, we're not keeping up. Uh, there, was, there was no rush. Oh, the timing. We're not going to get rid of these uh, shunters or the little switchers and keep them on this line. These have them, don't they? Yes, these have the switches on here. Where are you? you got gone under the tunnel. I'll tell you what, it can be a surprise. When we come out of the tunnel, we'll have a brand new train. And we might as well stick the new wagons on, the new gondolas. Manage vehicle. Let's just get you redone. We're going to bring up your details and we're going to match them sort of. 230 meter length. So what we actually want is a bit of a replacement. Diesels. There we go, guys. EMD. GP9. I knew I missed something. I just said EMD9, didn't I? Uh, they do 65. They do 65, surprisingly. So no upgrade as far as, as that's concerned. But power-wise, if we do have two of these, we do gain quite a bit of power, don't we? It's kind of in the middle of nowhere there. The tractive effort... Oh, the tractive effort is kind of impressive. So getting off to a, a start is going to be a little better. I'll tell you what, we'll get two on there. We can't uh, rotate them. Oh, that would mean it drives backwards. Perhaps we can have one either end. It will always have a cab facing out. I sort of like that for shunting backwards and forwards. It will never flip. All right, there we go. Cargo. We want the new ones on, and it's a kind of an orange. We'll go with a darker orange so they look worn. And we want to go, I guess we can go a little bit bigger as well, can't we? Uh, 230 meters. That's 234 plus the extra loco. So if we go 252, what has that done for our capacity? It's 192. Do you know, I never checked the, the weight of these. Give it the of the color we'll get back to our diesel stick you on the other end now these ones we can't flip and there's just one and that is it it faces the same direction no matter the end you put it what's your weight mr emd gp9 your weight is 117 tons these look to be lighter what's the betting here friendly wager are these heavier they look lighter they are, no, well, I mean they are, but uh, no, not as much as I thought. That power to weight ratio is obviously much better on the uh, GP9 there. Lovely. Guys, should we go with that? Get you replaced. Uh, you carry a bit more. I mean, everything about you is just beefed up now. You've got a bit more power, so you'll get up to speed a little sooner. Oh, I'll tell you what, guys, I'll set up the uh, the camera and then edit back into it. Oh, he's motoring, isn't he? Look at that. Yes. I mean, it won't look bad. They'll be doing different things, won't they? They'll be facing different ways, depending on the direction. I don't mind that. Well, I wonder how these will be updated. I mean, they look fine as is. That was pleasant seeing them come by. Yeah, they're going to be facing that way round. I hope we've got the... Uh, le oh, that's almost beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I hope we've got the length down at uh, the other station. I think so, because we extended the platforms, didn't we? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. There are some skins for these on the uh, workshop. I don't know whether you want them in there, because it will beef up the... Uh, the required download for my save game. I do have some uh, some locos available though. Oh, look at you! <laughs> oh, that's a coal train. There's your friend. He's motoring as well, isn't he? Oh, and with the new caboose on the back. It's beautiful, right? And you're away. He's definitely got some grunt now, hasn't he? Pulling away a little bit better. Well, about 1,400 brake horsepower better. Although these are probably heavier and you've got more. 
not accurate. <laughs> and they're only slightly heavier, those locos, which surprised me quite a bit. We shall see what that does for our throughput here. We should be catching up on coal, is what I'm hoping. Has Steely Dan already headed back up the uh, climb? I think that's you, is it? It is. That didn't take long at all, did it? Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled. <laughs> I am. Uh, like you wouldn't believe. Uh, there's no way, surely, that our, uh, our other train is going to get back here in time. Uh, it'd be Big Boy... No, that's Big Boy Ben. He's concertinaed. But uh, Train 11? He needs a name too, doesn't he? Drop a name for our other uh, Big Boy Ben's brother. Is that, <laughs> is that his name? Big Boy Ben's brother. That's a lot of Bs, isn't it? Big Boy Bren Ben's brother. It's a tongue twister. That's going to help the situation where we were filling up the platforms here. We're going to get through this quite a bit quicker. And in turn, that's going to boost production over at Clearwater Goods Factory there. Currently, yeah, currently it's doing a little bit of a downgrade. That is okay. I mean, well, it's not okay. It's acceptable given the uh, snarl up we had with steel. Uh, it just held our trains there for far too long. Well, we should have... Oh, oh, well... Yeah, because these are getting bigger and bigger. Here's a thing I wasn't expecting to uh, to fix today. Because our trains are bigger, uh, with more capacity, they are filling these up. Very much so. Yes. Uh, okay. So what do we need here? More buildings, probably. Which will be awkward because of our... Oh, our it's going to be get rid of this, isn't it? And put some extra storage on there. I think that's the best bet. It's a shame. We could always give them another field, perhaps. Give you a couple there. I mean, that's not pleasant unless we can squeeze one in there, which we can. Well, that means we can do the same over here. That's uh, a little bit more storage. We just need the uh, the space for the handoff, the, uh, the capacity for the handoff. That's better. Now, I'll tell you what, this definitely wasn't on the, uh, the docket today. But we'll give him a field and we'll just paint it in by hand. Uh, so we want some crops. It was, was it that one? Is that grass? No, we want crops. It was this one, wasn't it? Or oh, we could have that one. I think that's the, that's the grain, isn't it? No, that's the one. That's the one. Bring that down a bit. And I'll tell you what, we'll go with, school. what's rotate? Do you show me if I hover over the button? You don't. There we go, got it. It is comma and period if you're wondering how to rotate we can just put it back in but we'll avoid <laughs> we'll avoid that station there there we go it's not bad and then we'll bring it down to this uh this little path here in fact you've got more field now it's even better look at that yeah we won't paint a, a path in but we will we'll give you a little bit more i mean they've got Got some fence work going on there. Maybe we can give them some fence work as well. Assets. And uh, you, what are you using? You're using one of these, aren't you? I think it's the, those. Is it those? Yes, it's those. Let's bring you down the side here. We'll take you, I guess, all the way down here. No, up to there. There we go. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just put it in grand. Which side should it be? Should be the other way around, shouldn't it? Let's switch it to that way around. There we go. Oh, I don't think I've stepped ours. No, ours are planted on the ground. We'll have that at an angle. And then we'll run down to the road, I guess, as well. Why not? Run down to the road. To about there. Sure. Oh, well, in fact, run it down to the edge there. Make sure it's uh, make sure it's relatively straight, and we'll do a bit of a curve round here up to the up to the back. No, we won't. Line. We will in a second. Do that. Then we'll curve it. 
up to the platform or the station there. Leave it roughly the same distance away from the road. Finish that off. There we go. I don't mind it being up and downy. That's fine. I'm not going to keep doing that though. We've just added that. That's fine. It's kind of nice, isn't it? I mean, we've, we're straying a little bit. So if we get paint and delete, uh, we should, if we don't hold, if we don't hold anything like shift, we should just be able to get rid of the stuff that's over the fence there. And then bring it out a little tidier. There we go. Much nicer. I mean, there should be a bit of a gap, shouldn't there, really? That'll do. Leave it alone, Gran. Dear, oh dear. Uh, should we put a dirt path down here? <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm getting back into detailing somehow. Right, get you down there. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. All the way up to the road there. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's more like a little path, isn't it? I can see a tractor running down there. Right then. Unexpected, but you've got your field back, which is important. And yeah, it's the same as those, isn't it? Pretty much. We've lost our trees, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I don't think a boulder in there would help with our harvester, would it? That'd be awful. Tidier. Anyway, distracted completely. We've got the uh, we've got the new train on. Hit play. We've got the new train on. We've sorted out our capacity issues. We've got the electric lines have doubled up. We're definitely seeing a boost here. Oh, you've already upgraded. I don't think there was any change. Yeah, there was no change to level two. I don't think, or the maximum, because it doesn't actually upgrade, does it? Doesn't. Uh, visually upgrade i guess this just gives you a buffer of sorts well, that's nice plenty of room there hopefully we see the yeah the goods factory fix itself which we should if we start delivering <laughs> what are you not delivering steel are you you've got steel on the back there we go we've got steel on the back there goes train 11 on his way back with a whole ton of stuff or tons of stuff and production is up again montgomery now accepts no you are you are fluctuating that's fine there we go there we go and uh, we that would have had a knock-on effect wouldn't it yeah consumers won here we go we've got to start again suppliers uh that would have reduced the amount this is this could go a little wrong briefly but uh given what's happening here i think we'll be all right yeah you're starting to pick up some goods are you waiting until fall down here or are you just spacing yourselves out i think you're just spacing yourself out well, i guess you can turn around there's nothing else happening up here manage line given you're just doing a spin around anyway there we go that way you're not waiting You'll probably go in there if he's not pulling away. Let's see what he does. Oh, he pulled away. Cheeky. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Lovely. We'll get you back up to speed. Right then. We perhaps have time. We're not going to do anything fancy with the road, but we perhaps have time, just checking the road, to add a bus depot or a bus station in Palmdale. Or out on the outskirts of Palmdale to head up and drop people off at Providence. It's probably going to be something similar to what we had over at Phoenix. Is it? No, it's going to be a long single station like that. And then we can connect back up, but head around the back of this station here. Get you on there and then we'll curve you round. And then we'll set up a bus then. There we go. Something like that. And we'll upgrade that road. Lovely. I like this little thing we've got going on now. Do you know what that gives me an excuse to do? Absolutely. Official episode. Beautiful. We've got another bus service about to start up, guys. We have a depot, don't we? Oh, it's over the road. Over the railroad. I mean, it is a road, isn't it? It's a railroad. 
let's tidy you up a little bit. Oh, can we fit some more buildings in here? Passenger buildings. All the way along there. Yes. Uh, yeah, we can't put them on that side because of what's going on there. But we can put them this side. That is fine. This is the one we'll be using then. And uh, we'll route them through that way. We could maybe use this bus stop as a waypoint though. That'd be fine. Yeah. Right, should we get another bus then? Running to... Oh, of course. Now I need more official episode. Because I changed the terrain over here. I uh, wonder what this is going to do for them. New line. From Palmdale Bus Tram Station 7. Sure. <laughs> it's not really, is it? This would just be Palmdale Station. And then... Where's Providence? Here we go. We, uh, oh, we turn round there. Do we want to do that? Choose three. Go the other way. We need waypoints out here. Right, you be that blue. That works. No, be the same blue. What's, what blue did I choose there? Yeah, that one. Get you up and running. Uh, yes, that should be fine. So, what are you? Providence to Palmdale. That's the one we just did. You need to be heading around that way. After Palmdale bus station, as you go via there. Beautiful. And Providence to Phoenix. After Upper Providence, could you go that way, please? And that is tidier. There we go. Lovely. Let's get six of these on. Providence to Palmdale. That's the ones. And are you okay? Are these the same ones? Well, these are new ones, aren't they? They don't look like the other ones. No, they sound different. You're a bit clanky. Oh, you're fine. I think your revs are too high. Someone's overtuned it. They're lovely though, aren't they? There we go. You got more different ones. We saw, yeah, because I don't remember the red version. We'll put those on, heading from somewhere. I mean, they could have been from here, given they were red. I'm looking forward to setting up the bus line from Montgomery. Yeah, you're going to have to wait there, but we don't normally come across here, do we? There we go, guys. Good to see. More buses. We'll see how busy that gets next episode. Hopefully quite busy. How many can you hold? 280 plus 144. That's quite a lot of people, isn't it? We don't have the uh, capacity for that, bus-wise. But it's lovely. How have we done so far today? Have we increased our... No trains? No trains? Really? Yeah, that is true, and we've got leftover steel. I think we're on the up and up. I mean, it's going to be a bit sucky, because no doubt this is not hit issues no we've saved it a bit although wasn't this max so we had a bit of headroom there yeah the uh consumers yes we should get this up and running we should save it lots of shoulds that shouldn't be affected by anything yeah we got backed up here quite a bit didn't we uh you're already coming in to pick up your fresh load oh that's beautiful is that train 11? Yeah. So big boy Ben's gone. Oh yes, we needed to uh, check the length of these, didn't we? Do we have a bit of room to extend them further? If necessary, guys, if necessary. This is our marker point. Well, it'd be the signal, really, wouldn't it? That's our marker point just there. I like it. That's the uh, signal onto the main line. These are both yard signals. In fact... Yeah, we could probably go another one on both. But let's get those caught up, shall we? I will be updating the save game uh, before we take a break from the series because I really need to look at the update that's coming, the beta. And I, I have a few things planned. Whether they pan out or not, I don't know. But it involves going back to uh, all the series I've done uh, for Transport Fever 2 and seeing... Uh, if they still work, that includes Scotland, for those wondering. I'll talk more about that once it, uh, we get to the 
the end of the this series well it's not really the end of the series i don't know what's happening with this series at the moment because it's all going to be down to what the uh the update does for us and what I've, we've got to change and whether it's affected mods too much we'll see uh, i do want to get the ultimate station in that is available on the workshop now which has given me all sorts of ideas so i'm all sorts of excited Well, look at you go. You're about full, aren't you? You are full. You're off. Passenger trains. Pleasant. Pleasant. I'm glad you're not full. That's the Palmdale to Montgomery. Local commuter. In comes an oil train. Well, that's uh, one of our originals. It's Barry. Barry24. Hello, Barry. Yeah, you've, uh, you've gone through some changes. What did I promise to do? Yes, before we go, how is our little wood situation going? I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, it's stayed about the same, hasn't it? It's kind of lovely. Is it balanced enough? There we go. It's, it's lovely. We'll leave it like that. It's getting the job done, isn't it? We're about on top of it. We don't need any more trucks on there. Uh, if this hadn't had filled up at some point then uh, these would be fairly even there was almost exactly what it needed right there we go in fact it was perfect <laughs> the odd truck may head that, that way uh, with not much on but uh, i'll accept that to keep this flowing uh, we could get rid of a truck of course because we're well over the uh, the capacity there it's a bit risky, but I'm going to do it. Sell you. Oh, am I doing the right one? Yes. Yeah, do that. 205, 209. So a little over 400. That's the only production we care about, because that's the maximum. There we go. Guys, this is just sat nicely. Hopefully it doesn't change what it does. So we'll have to check on it yet again and see how it does after another episode. I guess Montgomery gets some sort of bus service. Perhaps we need a rebuild here though first. Maybe next episode we'll get this tidied up. A nice little rebuild. I would like one electric platform down here, but it's not to go to a city. Answers in the comments for that one. And uh, we've already got electrics up here, but there will be a platform usage going on down here, an extra platform. And again, not going to a city not direct anyway so what are my plans there guys i'm happy with that one we got uh, a lot checked up on we got our new trains up and running i think we're good most places uh we've improved our capacity we should be we should be flowing again how are we doing down here yeah cheeky that's fantastic to see well we've done it we've done it we've tidied everything up all right guys something a little different we're on board with joseph turner i think it's turner or taylor it's fine we don't need to know his name just that we've uh commandeered his vehicle no we've stuck a camera on sneakily as he was heading out of uh, athens he's on the way to uh oh that's wobbly he's on the way to clearwater almost forgot and uh, he's going to take a little drive down our road. The level crossing is level. That's nice to see. Are we doing anything with that industry? I doubt it. Guys, enjoyed that one today. Lots tidied up. Checked up on. All of our fixes seem to have worked. We recovered again from a, a complete stop. Already leveled up. And uh, uh, the map's coming along nicely. You'll have this to play with. Uh, a couple of weeks before, that's when I'm going to stop this series, either temporarily or whatever's happening. I don't know, because uh, I, I might get ideas and then we'll start something. It's been a healthy series regardless. We will be revisiting, though, for the update and hopefully everything runs just fine. Guys, I'll leave you on board with Joseph and his uh, amazing technical car. We'll be back and doing a little bit of a rebuild at 
Montgomery for the next episode, and that should tidy up traffic that end. Right? Oh, I love the horn. That's brilliant. Anyway, guys, before I get carried away, thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care.